Well, PR3, Ben, this is Fortune Cookie 45 LC coming to you from the Hot Lead Zone. And once again, congratulations on your recent acquisition of the old model Ruger Super Blackhawk 44 Magnum. Now, you might have a question, and that, and that is as collectible and desirable as the old model Super Blackhawk is, are you advised to go ahead and shoot the gun and enjoy it, or should you just put it away? Well, my answer to you is go ahead and shoot it and enjoy it because as long as you take care of it it'll maintain itself and keep its value and will always bring you lots of pleasure. Now you know I have some new model Super Black Hawk Ruger 44 Magnums that I've been shooting and this gun's been shot a lot but lately it hasn't been shot much and the reason why is because it's been kind of half retired because of its collector status well, no, you can, you can shoot it. So let's go ahead and take this to the range today and shoot it. The old model, three screw, Super Blackhawk, 44 mag. And we set up our target, there's four of them here. Use the case cutter to make a slot. And then the playing cards go in, we're ready to go. Fired six shots, two at the right target on top, and we got a card split on the second shot. You see the shrapnel on both targets. And then the other four shots we shot at the left hand target, but you see all four shots are lined up real nice on the left edge of the card, so we might need one click of uh, windage to the right to get that on. We'll see. Okay, let's see if we can get that hand upper left. like I'm writing some kind of word on the left-hand side of that card there. That card's got a charmed life. You notice the upper left-hand target how I use a little Kentucky windage and when I use Kentucky windage the bullets hit right where I'm aiming to the right. Then when I aim at the card it shoots a little to the left. And Kentucky windage is frustrating so I decided to get the screwdriver out and actually move the sights over one click to the right. So let's see what that does. Well, got the card on the fourth shot, so that's good. 
Well, might as well go for the lower cards. Uh, those six were a little wild, weren't they? That that wild shot was the shooter error. Was not the gun. All that shot actually got quick on the trigger on that one. So let's uh, reload and try it again. Well, that got the card for sure. We saw it come out of there. Might as well go for that lower right one. Well, that lower right card's been hit, but uh, I don't know if it's been split or not. We'll see. So, uh, you see, it's a good gun. Old model Ruger Super Blackhawk are good guns. If you get a chance to get one, don't turn it down. So, wouldn't you know it, when I turned the camera off, I hit the card on the second shot. There you go. And uh, shoots pretty well offhand. It's a fun gun. You're going to really enjoy that. Good shooting to you. Well, PR3 Ben, do you remember all those old Gunsmoke episodes where Matt Dillon was sitting at his desk cleaning a single action revolver because of black powder in those days? Well, it's a good idea even today with Smokeless to clean our guns right away and so here we go. And I'm pleased to report to you that after shooting all those cast bullets, this old model Ruger Super Blackhawk cleaned up real well. We got no leading in the barrel, cleaned up real well. We did have some 
burns in the front of the cylinder that we had to clean off. Got that off pretty well. But the bluing cleaned up real nice. And all the powder residue just wiped right off. So PR3 band with reasonable care, this gun will serve you well and last you forever. And you'll be able to enjoy it for many years. Great buy you made there.